on YouTube around 4 p.m. EST, Monday, Thursday, Friday. Follow for notifications. Yo, what is up, my massive family? We're playing Rainbow Six Siege, and it's about to get tactical in here because we're going to be playing Tarot Hunt on hard difficulty. We're not going for any of that weak stuff and normal. It's This is going to be hard as heck, all right, because Rainbow Six... Ah, crap. Damn it. Damn it. YouTube has my video open somewhere else. Live on YouTube around 4 p.m. EST, Monday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, God. Stop that. Yo, what is up, oh, massive there we family? Go. We're playing Rainbow Wait, it's still Six playing. Siege. Oh my God, it's no! To get Where is it playing here, now? Playing it's too much. Hard difficulty. Oh We're God. Not going for any of that weak I can't find my, where my video is playing. I have so this many tabs open. All right, oh, this, this is too much. Gun, this gun. Rainbow Six. So much what the heck? Rams. Isn't it? No. no. We're in the. Damn it. No, stop it! Open somewhere else. Else. No, it's oh god! We're in the future. Oh god! Right. Oh, what is happening? Yeah, We've got all these futuristic what? Uh, magic yeah. weapons. Wait, what? Like really? All the sorcery oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, damn it! The minute I get a handgun, I'm freaking out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I'm in hell. This is like a Glock. I can't oh, so give me a second. Oh so god! Uh, it's just a handgun. Right like, I could get this gun in any game. What the heck? Battlefield. No, it's not an actual handgun. You know, they just ran over their own guys. Oh, just the God. fact that it looks like something that I'm familiar oh, with on this. Oh, what is happening? We've got all these features. Oh, Lord. What? Oh, Lord. Magic weapons. Good Lord. Wait, what? Like... Oh, thank God. Whew. <laughs> what kind of fresh hell was that? Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Google Chrome uh, opened a bunch of my old tabs because I had to restart my browser. <laughs> Let's take it from the top. Let's restart this thing. Monday, Thursday, Friday. Massive. Live on YouTube around 4 p.m. EST. Monday, Thursday, Friday. Follow for notifications. Yo, what is up, Massive Family? We're playing Rainbow Six Siege once again, and we're going to be dropping in with the hard difficulty on Terrorist Hunt. We're not going for any of that weak stuff. No way, no way. This is going to be very difficult. All right, so if you haven't played Rainbow Six Siege Terrorist Hunt before on hard difficulty, well, there, there we go. Mission condition, there's reduction to uh, friendly fire damage, normal XP gain, and normal renown. So we're going to get normal XP and normal renown instead of reduced so that's awesome. I haven't actually tried realistic yet. I have a feeling that realistic is just a little too much punishment for me to take right now. So instead, I'm gonna go with hard and let's let's do our best. We gotta be tactical, we gotta stay frosty, and hopefully our teammates work with us on this thing and it, we don't have too much in fighting, you know? I hope that they stay tactical. I hope they don't do like do it all Call of Duty. Uh uh. Can't do Rainbow Six Call of Duty. That's just doesn't mix. Just doesn't mix. Welcome everybody to this massive live stream. It's good to have you guys with us. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of was like the Clone Wars, wasn't it? All right, we're playing Terrorist Hunt Classic, and this is the hard difficulty. So this is gonna take all the focus we got. Seriously, every last bit of focus. Oh, give me Fuse. Yes! Excellent. I'm gonna go with the AK-12 because it has high stopping power and the GSH-18 and Breaching Charge. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with a Stun Grenade instead and I'm gonna go ahead and lock in that loadout. I believe that we should spot at the AC APC area as does most of my team. Luckily, most people have figured out what the best spawn areas are. I mean, you can go about Terrorist on any way you wish. You really can. You can spawn anywhere you want to. But I like the APC area personally. Anyway, looks like we got one recruit. We got Sledge, Thermite. Oh, we have two recruits and Sledge, Thermite, and Fuse. So we got three specialists and two recu uh, recruits in this counter terrorist unit. And this is going to be pretty sick. We got 10 seconds left. I'm rolling with the AK 12, which has a uh, high stopping power. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. We've still got to be as cautious as we possibly can because this is a tactical game. Rainbow Six Siege is unlike any other first-person shooter. 
I was a huge fan of Rainbow Six Vegas. I don't know how many oh, guys played Rainbow awesome. Six Vegas or Rainbow Six Vegas 2, but <laughs> those games were my jam for like, oh god, like five years solid. Me and my friends would just like get together, hop on a couch, and play some Rainbow Six Vegas. Man, those were the days. Those were the days. Hopefully, Rainbow Six Siege brings back that kind of awesome tactical experience that I know and love. Unfortunately, most of my friends now, uh, <laughs> they don't have time to play, uh, on couches or anything like that. Oh, shit! Son of a bitch! No! Oh, my God. Oh, I swear I pressed X. I swear that I pressed X to rapple down. But I fell. Holy crap. Here I am, talking about... Oh, shit. Oh my god, Sledge, Sledge sacrificed himself to save me, because of my, my screw-up. I could have sworn that I uh, held X to Rapple up, but I, I guess it didn't register, and I fell off of the roof, and I broke my damn legs. We got 22 terrorists left. I'm going to go ahead and squat up on Blue Waffle over here. I am in shock. I am in shock that that happened. I really am. I do not have a breaching charge, so I'm just going to have to uh, sweep and clear this room manually. Nope, no terrorists in there as far as I can see. This room looks clear as well. But unfortunately, this may have been a fatal screw-up at the beginning of this mission. Whoa, we have some terrorist activity. I have no eyes on the terrorist, but the terrorist is down. Looks like we took him down with a headshot. And Blue Waffle is still good. He's coming out of the window, and I think that he's going to... Yeah, it looks like we're going to go in through the kid's bedroom. Which, honestly, is not a bad idea at all. In fact, Blue Waffle, if you go ahead and, uh... I was going to throw a stun grenade, but... Oops. We'll save the uh, stun grenade for another time. Yeah, since we are playing in hard difficulty of Terrorist Hunt, we have to be extremely cautious. We have to worry about enemy uh, fire, we have to worry about friendly fire, and we also have to worry about specialists. Enemy Terrorist is still up. Enemy Terrorist is now down. For instance, there is a Suicide Bomber Specialist, and if he sees you, if he starts running toward you, you're probably screwed. Just open fire. doesn't matter if it's hip fire. Just open fire and take that guy down as fast as you can, because... If you don't take him down and he starts charging at you, as soon as he gets close, he's going to detonate his bombs that are packed to his chest. And him and everybody near him, including you, are just going to blow up and die in a puff of smoke and debris. And it's going to be ugly. It's going to be awful. One of the nice things about Rainbow Six Siege is the destructibility. I mean, there's multiple ways to go about any mission, any terrorist hunt. Anything like that, and the destructibility just adds to that. You can shoot through certain walls, certain surfaces that you would be able to in real life. Obviously, you can't shoot through stone or anything like that as easily as you would be able to shoot through wood and plaster. Excellent. Another terrorist is down. I'm going to come over here and uh, give covering fire to my counter-terrorist operatives. Excellent. That is a headshot that took a terrorist down in the other room. I'm going to work on reviving. Oh, I have been taken down. Unfortunately, I was killed by a terrorist. Trying to bring back up my counter-terrorist operative buddy, but I was killed in the process. Look at that. Look at that. That was amazing. Because <laughs> Oh, my God. All right, so something that I like about Rainbow Six Siege and don't like at the same time is that AI can... They can shoot from covers. Did you see that where that guy's moving? Like he is just barely poking his head like around the wall, barely poking his head above the counter. He is trying to give himself as much cover as he possibly can. And I like that. I like that a lot. I like that it it's uh, the AI is challenging, but crap. It's challenging, but it's, it doesn't feel cheap. Like Whenever I'm playing Rainbow Six Siege, if I, if I die, I, it, I can usually tell that it's my fault. And I'm like, hey, what what the hell happened? Is the game must have glitched or something. Except in PvP, a few instances in PvP, like my limb was sticking through a wall, and someone shot my limb sticking through a wall where it shouldn't have been sticking through. Anyway, we didn't do too bad. I mean, we got four kills. I think I got an assist as well, and we got 40 renown. We would have got more renown if we didn't fail, but on the whole, we did pretty bad. 
Also, I'm going to be getting out some Rainbow Six Siege beta codes in this live stream. So, if you want to enter our giveaway, just go to our Twitter page and retweet our latest tweets. And you'll have a, a chance in winning a beta code. I'm also going to give codes away to you guys that do not feel like retweeting something. Hereford Base, Terrorist Hunt Classic on hard. We're not going for that weak normal stuff. We are still going for hard difficulty. I'm going to roll up as Fuse with the AK-12 because of high stopping power, and I'm going to use a stun grenade because this is hard difficulty. I'd rather be safe than use a breaching charge. If we're unsure about a room, we can toss a stun grenade and see how it goes. I'm going to lock in this loadout, and I have not played... The training uh, training course a lot, so you know what? I'm just gonna go with what my teammates are going with. Sweet, we got Twitch. Twitch is a very good counter terrorist operative. Let's see what you guys are saying in the chat room. <laughs> Who's pumped for Call of Duty next month? This guy. This guy. I am super pumped for the next Call of Duty. Black Ops 3 was amazing in beta, and I have no doubt that it should be equally amazing in release. On your command. All right, let's move out. Since I haven't played this map very much, I'm going to just take my teammates' lead, and I'm going to run with it. Wherever they go, I will follow, and I'll be very careful to uh, sweep and clear. You may think, well, maybe I'll just, like, uh, I don't know, stay outside, stay on the outskirts, you know? Just maybe stay in one room, two rooms, something like that. But no, no, that would not be smart, because the enemy will, like, search you out. And you have 26 terrorists. That is a hell of a lot of terrorists to deal with if they start searching you out. It looks like this room was actually a poor choice for us to go down because there is an awful lot of barbed wire here. And we have a lot of terrorists down in the stairwell. I'm going to try to take down some of this barbed wire and actually move into the stairwell. And I am not seeing any terrorists. So I'm going to go ahead and follow my uh, counter-terrorist operatives downstairs and provide them cover fire. So far, so good. I'm not seeing any hostiles. Let's stay frosty. Whoa! Terrorists have been sighted! Terrorists sighted! One terrorist is down! I'm gonna see if I can take the other, the other terrorist down that's over around this corner. He has moved out. Excellent, my teammates took him down. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep and clear this room that I'm coming up on. Terrorist sighted! We have multiple hostiles inside of this room. Excellent. Two terrorists are down. We have 17 terrorists remaining. I'm going to go ahead and head inside, and it is clear. I have my counter-terrorist operatives coming up behind me, and let's poke a hole through this barricade. See what we can see. And there is a terrorist on the other side of this barricade. He has been taken down as well. I have to watch my ammunition. I don't have a surplus. Nice. He tossed a flashbang, and let's move. Let's move. Let's see who's out here. Looks good to me. We are on the outside. That is a door to the outside. So we're going to go ahead and backtrack and head upstairs. Unfortunately, we do have one counter-terrorist operative that has bit the dust. He is dead, but we have four remaining. We have enemy gunfire. I'm not exactly sure where it's coming from. I'm going to check over here. No, not seeing anything over there. I guess he was... Uh, yeah, it looks like we had some terrorists outside. I believe that they sent some hostiles over here to check this blast when we blew a hole in the wall. And that is why they were ready for us when we came back over here. These mannequins are creeping me out, man! Oh! Oh, he threw a grenade! I'm not sure what kind of grenade it is. I think it was just a flashbang. I'm gonna move back up and see if I can take this guy down. I don't want this hostile making trouble for us in the future. I have no visual on hostile targets. I have lost sight of the hostile target. Where the heck did this guy go? He's gone. He's gone! I gotta meet up with my teammates. Oh, I am under fire. I've been hit. I've got 76% integrity on my armor. So I need to remain in cover. What the hell was that? <laughs> what the heck got us? Oh, shit. Okay, so the replay showed uh, an enemy bomber. So you got suicide bombers in Rainbow Six Siege. And if they get near you, you're done. You're done! There's no way that you can combat suicide bombers unless you get the drop on them. If you are able to get some, uh, like,
cover and fire and uh, get a couple caps in them, then they should go down. It does take quite a few bullets, especially on hard difficulty. But unfortunately, it got the drop on us. And we just have one counter-terrorist operative remaining, and that is Twitch. She's a badass, though, so as long as she remains cool, then she should be able to take down the remaining six terrorists. She's at 72% armor integrity, and she is being very careful. She's knocking down some of these barricades, checking outside, getting a fix for where the enemy is. But she still has no visual on hostile targets, so she's going to go ahead and uh, lay a breaching charge down on this barricade, and therefore provide herself cover debris. There's going to be a lot of dust, there's going to be a lot of dirt and a lot of debris that's going to give her cover. Drone going live. Oh, actually, wait, there's a twist. She's actually taking her, and there she is. <laughs> she's actually taking her drone, her RC drone, and she's... Oh, yeah, she has a terrorist in there. If she uh, fires that two terrorists... Unfortunately, they have spotted her. They're firing at the drone, but the drone got out of there alive. Now, if she blows this breaching charge, she should hit the terrorists inside the room. She's being very stealthy about this, so this is badass. Nice! She blew the charge. She's got some coverage. She's taking that to her advantage. She took down one terrorist, and another terrorist she just gunned down with her handgun. There are now four hostile targets remaining. Her aim is anything but twitchy. It's very deliberate, and she is taking them down with relative ease. She's taking her time. She, whoa! She is under fire. Looks like the terrorist was behind her, but I'm not seeing any hostiles. Whoa! She is being ambushed right behind you! Behind you! Look behind you! Damn it! Wait! Yeah, behind you! God damn it! Turn around! Turn around! Come on, Twitch! Get him! Yes! All right, we have one terrorist left. She just took down that guy who was firing shots into her back. She's now at 16% armor integrity, which means that if she's not careful, this last enemy could be her death. She's laying down a breaching charge to blow out that wall. The wall is clear. She's got a little bit of cover thanks to that dust and debris. And keep in mind, every time you go out into a hallway in Rainbow Six Siege, where you decide to look, right or left, is huge because there's a 50-50 chance you're going to get shot in the back and die. I mean, this You can't just pick up a health pack or something as simple as that in Rainbow Six Siege. This is meant to be a tactical, semi-realistic experience. I mean, it's not overly realistic, um, which that's kind of my style. I, I, like to, I like my games to be pretty realistic, but not like the level of simulator. That's not for me. I mean, I can understand the appeal, definitely. Like, Arma? My god. My god, that game is an amazing simulator. Ah, oh, crap. Unfortunately, Twitch is down, as you can see in this replay. While she was... The enemy was looking for her, and while she was operating her RC car, they gunned her down. And that is a loss for the counter-terrorist operatives, unfortunately. But that was amazing. <laughs> we got four kills, and Twitch got a whopping 13 kills. So, heal to the king, baby. Twitch, that was awesome. I'm going to rate this match five stars. Because, I mean, we did lose, yes. But, I mean, our team tried our best. And Twitch did an amazing job. I didn't encounter any bugs or anything like that. So, five stars from me. Woo! <laughs> Oh, man, we were disconnected. I was really hoping we could play with Twitch again. All right, let's go for another terrorist hunt, and this is going to be hard terrorist hunt again. In fact, we may go for realistic, but while we're looking for that, I'm going to go ahead and give away one of our keys. So how it works is I'm going to read your Twitter handle, and all you have to do is tweet back at me within a few minutes to prove you're not a bot, and I will direct message you your beta code, which is good for any platform. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. <laughs> We're playing on House. It's a very clever name. All right. Okay, so it looks like um, it landed on Superior J. Superior J, if you're watching this live, oh crap, I was too late to get Fuse. Superior J, if you're watching this live stream, man, go ahead and tweet at me within a few minutes and I will get you your beta code.
Once again, that is Twitter handle Superior J. And I'm gonna be giving away a, like, just a, a code to, like, whoever's fast enough to get it. Let's go as FBI SWAT. And let's roll with, uh, extended range. Alright, just good for me. We got a smoke grenade in case we need it. Wow, we're rolling with an all-star team. We got Fuse, IQ, and Thermite. Thermite is the only U.S. operative in the beta at the moment. Alright guys, uh, halfway through this match, or near the end of it, I'm going to be giving away a Rainbow Six Siege beta code. And to enter the beta code, you need to go to Rainbow Six with a number. Number six, rainbow6.com slash beta and select redeem code. And that's good for any platform once again. All right, so it looks like we are all wrapping up to the roof, which is nice. I like that. So I'm going to go follow their, uh, their modus operandi. And I'm going to see who's inside of the kids' room. I am not spotting any hostile targets. It looks like we did have some hostile targets to the left of me, but unfortunately I was not able to get solid eyes on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and head inside of this, uh, inside of this kid's room. Looks clear of targets. So far, our counter-terrorist operatives do not have any damage on them, which is sweet! We have 23 terrorists remaining. Unfortunately, one of our counter-terrorist operatives are down. And we have a grenade out, we have a grenade out. I'm not exactly sure who tossed that grenade. But luckily, no terrorists, like, were able to take down any of our operatives with that grenade. I'm gonna go ahead and peek around this, uh, around this corner. There we go. Forgot how to peek for a minute. Excellent, and a terrorist was taken down. Someone tossed a smoke grenade, I'm not exactly sure who it was, but I'm gonna have my sights ready. It looks like it was our operative muzzle flash, so let's go ahead and move up. And it looks like they are making their way downstairs. Unfortunately, that seemed to have been a mistake because we now have two counter-terrorist operatives down. I'm gonna make my way downstairs though, and I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to bring them back up. I am being shot at. I'm trying to get behind cover. I have 8% armor integrity, so I am very, very close to death. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am down and we've been killed. Our entire CTU unit has been wiped out. We weren't cautious enough. Unfortunately, when two of our counter-terrorist operatives dropped down in an entire floor after they blasted away the trap door, they were wiped out because they didn't have any visual. They didn't have any visual on the room. You shouldn't have just... You, sh you don't just drop in a room with no visual on, on contacts. It's just reckless. Huh. <sighs> I'm going to vote to retry the mission. Hopefully they vote <laughs> to retry it as well. Yeah, two days, 48 hours. That is, uh... Wait. Yeah, two days is two days. Two days is two days as far as I'm, uh, as far as I'm concerned. So, it's, it's, it's good. It's a good beta. Join up on the Rainbow Six Siege beta if you can. Two days is plenty of time to enjoy it. Like uh, Eric D said. So, the code is T-U-4-N-Y-2-W-X-9-E-E-V. You want to go to rainbow6.com slash beta and select redeem code once again. It is T-U-4-N-Y-2-W-X-9-E-E-V. Hopefully, that is good for you guys. And, uh, I mean, obviously it is good, but hopefully one of you guys are able to uh, uh, nab it. All right, let's go for another terrorist taunt, hard mode. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna check Twitter and see if he tweeted back at me. Uh, this code is good for any platform, so good luck. I'm hoping that I can... I don't have too many codes yet left. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't have too many codes left, so I'm hoping like I can get as many guys in here as, as possible. But, uh... It looks like... He did not actually tweet back at me, so I'm going to select another person that retweeted our tweet. Alright, let's see, let's see. Christopher Jensen. 
CKJ Gamer. Christopher Jensen, if you're watching this stream right now, tweet back at me, prove you're not a bot, and I will DM you your Rainbow Six Siege beta code. You want to enter that as soon as you can, so you can start playing as soon as you can, man. Let's go with... Wait, change map, matchmaking site. I guess that's not a feature. Oh, matchmaking lone wolf. Interesting, okay. <laughs> I never noticed that before. I guess you can go in with a terrorist hunt alone, but I definitely want to do it with the team. So we're going to go with matchmaking and not lone wolf. We're going to go with another hard tarot hunt, and let's be slower, but also faster. Faster with our decision making. Because we need to be slow when we're moving through room, or uh, between rooms, but when you're moving through rooms, you need to be a little faster, in my humble opinion. When you're moving between rooms, that's usually when it's most dangerous. Also, we got to be checking behind us at all times. That's weird. It's letting me kind of select fuse, but someone already selected it. I got that must be a glitch. Ah, uh, who are we gonna go with? Who are we gonna go with? Well, let's not go with FBI this time around. Instead, let's marksman rifle. Hmm. Let's go with the 417. Oh my god, revolver, are you serious? Okay, we're gonna go with a revolver, we're gonna go with breaching charge, and a stun grenade. Someone's left the game, but no one that we own, no operative that we own, so we're just gonna have to go in with a recruit. Alright, we are inbound for another match. Welcome everybody that's joining us right now, and welcome Massive Family. Action phase! Eliminate all enemies. We have 26 terrorists remaining, and 12 minutes to do this on hard difficulty. And this is a very hard game. We have more specialists. <laughs> we take more damage. They take less damage. Slightly. Alright, he's gonna wrap up top. But you know what? I'm gonna... Ooh, Sledge, Sledge needs some help. Sledge needs some help. Oh, we are under fire from enemy terrorists. I'm not seeing any ter Wait, terrorists have been sighted. Terrorist is out of firing range. I- wait. Hold on. Terrorist is down. Enemy terrorist is down. We are at 76% armor integrity. Unfortunately, we lost quite a bit of armor, and we don't want to lose any more. If we lose any more, it could prove fatal for us in a few minutes. Terrorist has been spotted, and... Excellent. Sledge was able to bring him down to his knees. Grenade! Oh! Man. <laughs> that was close. That was close. Unfortunately, terrorists are behind us, and I'm taking heavy, heavy fire. I'm at 8% armor integrity, so I'm very, very close to death. This is why you've got to keep moving. you got to keep looking behind you. I can't afford to take any more hits. I don't have eyes on any more uh, any more hostiles, so I'm gonna go ahead and follow with Sledge, and see if I can spot any hostile terrorists, which I cannot. I have no sights on hostile terrorists. I'm gonna go ahead and follow up on Sledge and see if we can find where the enemy is. Whoa, 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 whoa! We have hostile terrorists inside of this room, and I think we have them coming up behind us as well. I'm going to go ahead and lob a grenade. We have multiple hostile terrorists in the room, and I am down. <laughs> Flash grenade is out, but it is too late to help us. I'm going to go ahead and stop the bleeding, and it looks like the terrorists are... They're shooting Sledge. Sledge is no more. Sledge is gone, and so am I, and that is another mission lost. Holy crap. If you can, it's... <laughs> it's obviously a better idea to play this game with friends. Get some mics, play with some friends, and play this tactically. It's a little difficult to work with your teammates if you don't have microphones. I think I need to be a little more proactive though, because I was sticking behind with Sledge, and me and Sledge didn't see too many hostile targets. However, the uh, teammates that went uh, like ahead of us, they saw way more targets than we did. I've actually noticed that, like the last couple of games, 
I have not been seeing a lot of hostile uh, enemies, and I think that's because I'm playing a little too safe in the wrong areas. It's it's good to be safe, it's good to be slow, it's good to be tactical, but you need to do it right, you need to do it smart. And we weren't being tactical smart, we were being tactical stupid. And being tactical stupid is just... That's just stupid. It's, it's it's a waste. It's just as bad as being reckless. All right, we got another beta code that is being uh, given away right now, and that is E four six zero C seven E D six Q T L. Once again, that is E four six zero C seven E D six Q T L. There we go. Good luck to whoever gets it. Have fun. I'm going to be reading off another Twitter handle. It looks like, Nobody's following the... Uh, we, I think we got a lot of bots retweeting our like giveaway because nobody's watched... Uh, like uh, that, that, That's been like retweeting it. Has been watching the stream this time around. Usually we got a lot of like uh, good, honest people that are actually like looking for... Whoa. Spawned us... Uh, Oh, we're, we're not actually in the game. We're watching... We're watching what's going on. Hey, nice kill. I'm here, buddy. Relax. This doesn't happen very often, actually. Usually, you're dropped into a match right at the beginning. I have maybe been dropped in as a spectator twice. This being the second time. Anyway, uh, Charles Lavely, Charles Lavely on Twitter, uh, tweet at me, man, within the next couple minutes, and I will DM you a beta code. I just need you to tweet back to me so I know you're not a bot. Once again, that is Charles Lavely. Yeah, you, you can, of, of course codes still work, man. It's not open yet. I don't think they will make it open since it ends in two days. Uh, when they made Black Ops 3 open, it was... Oh, God. What, like... Four days left, I think, on the PlayStation 4? But if you want to input your code, you can't do it on the PlayStation. You can't do it on the Xbox. You have to do it. Rainbow6.com slash beta. That's the only way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and quit out of this match since I'm not actually playing. So it doesn't matter if I quit. Not like I'm letting my team down. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, get inside of another one. Exactly, Firefox. The way that you can destroy walls, even floors. Like, okay, so I was... I, walls, that's cool, right? That, that's awesome. But, the... The fact that you can destroy floors is just, that's a whole nother level of awesome. You see walls from time to time in, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta, wait, let me go to the website. Oh, someone just told me to go to the Rainbow6.com website, Rainbow6.com slash beta. Beta has been extended to October 4th. Sweet. Um, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm not seeing a place to input the the codes anymore. That's that's weird. It was, it was here yesterday. Hold on. Closed beta code redemption closes. Oh, shit. Closed beta code redemption closes the first. Are you serious? That's why I worked yesterday. Shit, I, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. I did not notice that. That sucks. God damn it. That is unbelievable. I, I was not notified about this. Uh, wow. That's weird. I've never had closed beta redemption closed before. I have never seen that. This, that's the first time I'm seeing that. Alright, so, guys, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dumping all my codes, okay? I'm going to be dumping all my codes in the chat room, so in case they reopen it, save the codes and use them, alright?
Here, let me go ahead and dump these. Uh, so guys, save these codes, and if they reopen code redemption, you can just type them in, alright? Here we go. Bam. Save them up. All right, we are going into another hard terrorist on classic, and hopefully, crossing my fingers, we have fuse available. Let's see. Nice. There we go. We are locked in his fuse, and I'm gonna be sticking with his regular old AK-12 because I like that weapon a lot. However, I'm gonna switch from the uh, GSH to the PMM because of its uh, high stopping power. Although I do appreciate low recoil. I think I'd rather have high stopping power, and I'm going to stick with the stun grenade as well. Let's lock in that location and select the APC area. Hey, we're playing with Blitz. That is awesome. Blitz is a really cool operative because look at the front of his, uh, look at the front of his riot shield. There is a very unique feature that he's got. With the front of his riot shield, he can emit a flash, a very powerful flash that operates like a flashbang, and it will stun, like, surrounding enemies that are looking at him and his uh, riot shield, so that is pretty badass. And I'm thinking about unlocking him. I may unlock uh, Blitz, because I think he'd be fun. I don't know, either Blitz or the Doc, maybe. The Thermite's pretty cool, too, though. Alright, we are moving up on my teammates. I'm curious where they're going to go. Oh. Um. Are there terrorists over here? Because most of my teammates seem to be going over here. We got one lone wolf. Sledge went up to the house. Oh, I, oh, they don't know where to go. Okay, so I guess these guys thought we were at the uh, the shooting range, which we are not. And as you can see, Blitz just took out his riot shield like a badass. He's a badass motherfucker. He seriously is. I'm going to move up nice and slow and see if we can spot any hostile targets. I am not seeing any terrorists. We are, like, opening fire. We have a recruit over here opening fire on the terrorists. We've got a few terrorists down, and we have two... Holy shit. Whoa, whoa! Terrorist is down, Terrorist is down. I am under heavy fire. I'm at 78% armor integrity. Uh... I'm gonna see what's through this door. We have multiple terrorists. Shit. Shit. Unfortunately, I, d I do think that I hit, uh, uh, Q Gamer. I'm gonna see if I can pick him back up. I'm sorry about that, man. If some... Shit. Shit, he's dead. That was my fault. Oh god, I feel like such an asshole. We have a lot of terrorist targets over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... I'm gonna toss a flashbang, and I'm gonna check behind me to make sure that I'm good. Uh, still. If you don't know if someone's behind you, it's a good idea to go ahead and crouch down. To make yourself as small a target as possible. And they can then shoot over your shoulder. There is a terrorist <laughs> somewhere over there in that doorway. I'm gonna go ahead and toss a flashbang. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check out here. There is a terrorist. <laughs> Whoa! That was close. Luckily we had some flashbangs on us and not a breaching charge. I'm very glad that we went with flashbangs instead of that. It definitely proved to be useful for us. I'm going to go ahead and reload our assault rifle while we can. We have 15 terrorists remaining. And I'm going to move upstairs. I'm going to see if I can... Uh... Oh, I'm... am I the last one left? Oh, no. It looks like I am, in fact, the last counter-terrorist operative left. We have 14 terrorists remaining. I'm not sure what that question mark means. I think maybe someone can, like, join in. Tear us down. I'm gonna sweep and clear this room. This room looks clear. I'm not seeing anybody below me, but I do hear voices. Not seeing anybody above me. I'm gonna go ahead and move upstairs. Oh, crap! <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Woo! Ha ha ha! Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh my god, that's so clever! You son of a bitch! Okay, so somebody put a trip mine, like, near the ceiling! I didn't know that the AI could put trip mines near the ceiling! That is ridiculous! We got four kills, and no assists.
and that is mission failure, but, wow. Alright, the enemy can put trip mines in really trippy places. Holy crap, holy crap, that came out of nowhere. That is amazing. Massey, if there is too much contrast or not enough luminosity. Well, um, that wouldn't be on my end. Yeah, I just checked my settings. All, all my video settings are standard. That wouldn't be on my end. Come on, come on. Yes! Okay, we are rolling as Fuse. I love it, because Fuse is awesome. I'm gonna check again who we got. Alright, so I think maybe we'll unlock uh, Twitch next. Alright, anyway, we're going to be rolling with the same stuff as we were last time. It worked out pretty well for us. I'm going to suggest that we spawn near the APC area. Two people have no vote on that. Personally, I think the APC area provides an awesome vantage point. But it's pretty sweet. Aliana, we will be making more LEGO Worlds videos. I promise. And hopefully LEGO Dimensions as well. I love LEGOs. I love Legos. The Lego movie was so good. It was so good. If you guys haven't seen the Lego movie, don't brush it off just thinking it's a children's movie. It's not. It's Phil Lord, I believe, and Philip Miller are, are the writers of it, something like that. And I think those are also the writers of Jump Street. And also Cloudy the Chance of Meatballs, which is another film that is like definitely enjoyable by adults. And the Lego movie is just... Aside from being a nostalgic gasm, it's just a damn good movie. Like, who who would have thought you could make a movie as good as that? And it's about Legos. Alright, so he's checking that side of the room. I'm gonna go ahead and breach the uh, barricade on this side of the room and see what I can see. It looks like there are no terrorists inside of the kids' room. I'm gonna go ahead and enter. Alright, I am inside. I'm watching that hallway. Very, very carefully. Terrorist has been sighted. Terrace is down. I'm going to go ahead and reload my assault rifle. I'm not sure if we have any specialists on this floor. If we do have a specialist, I do not want to die. So, I'm going to take it slow. I'm going to stay frosty. So far, so good. Alright, our uh, fellow counter-terrorist operative cleared that room. That room is good. I'm not seeing any terrorists downstairs. And he just took down his bomb specialist. You see that? You see the bombs on that guy? I'm going to defuse these uh, trip mines. One trip mine is down. Two trip mines are down. They can place trip mines on the walls, and that is scary. That's very, very scary for me. But still, if he didn't take down that, that suicide bomber, we would probably be dead. Because they are serious business. Alright, another uh, nitro cell has been disabled. Holy crap, there's an awful lot of nitro cells. Look at that. Look at this. You can take down the banisters on the stairs. That is incredible level of destruction. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's good. Oh, shit! Somebody tossed a grenade, and the, the entire floorboard is just blown out. Luckily, I am good right now. I have 89% armor integrity. Unfortunately, we have one operative that is dead. We have seven terrorists remaining. This is a very, very good terrorist run. Where are the rest of my operatives? Alright, Nitro is going downstairs. I'm gonna follow suit. I'm going to provide cover, fire, and backup for him. I want to see if we can sweep and clear. Clear out this entire bottom floor. And I am staying crouched so they can fire over my shoulder safely without me being in the way. Another terrorist is down. Terrorist inside of this room and he is gone. We have no terrorist inside of the garage as far as I can tell. Nice. All right, good stuff, good stuff. It is all clear over here. There are four terrorists remaining. So far, so good. Don't know about these rooms. I don't think we've checked the weight room yet. You even lift, bro? You even lift, bro? So these terrorists don't lift because we're kicking their ass. We have four of these bastards left. I'm going to head back upstairs and provide support to my teammates. Alright, Hostile has been spotted. He is opening fire. Shit, my teammate walked in front of me and I killed him. That's why you do not walk in front of someone firing. 
their weapon. That is very, very, very dangerous. And the last terrorist is down. That is mission successful. Sweet! Alright, noise. There is the last kill. Awesome. All terrorists are down. Counter terrorists win. That was nice. Master of the next Lego Worlds, can you make the Devil Decker couch? That is an awesome idea, Firefox. We got six kills and zero assists, but still, that was nice. Let's see how much uh, renown we got. 86 renown. Sweet. I'm going to rate this five stars since everyone did an awesome job and I had no glitches. I'm going to back out, however, and we're going to go ahead and purchase another operative. This is like an insane home alone. <laughs> yeah, John, it is. <laughs> a really scary, gritty reboot of the Home Alone franchise. Um, operators, what do we have here? We have Pulse and Fuse. Um, let's go ahead and unlock a new operator. Let's see what we've got. See what the options are. We got Smoke who has detonated toxic gas charges. My god, that's that's awful. That is awful. Uh FBI has thermite with exothermic charge that destroys reinforced walls. Don't see a lot of those. Shock drone that disables enemies. Pretty badass. Extendable shield. Armor plates for your team. I'm thinking about blitz. I'm thinking I might go with Blitz. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go with Blitz. Boom, let's unlock him. Unlocked with Renown. Confirm unlock. Operator videos aren't available, so we're gonna skip that cinematic and we're gonna go back into Terrorist Hunt. And let's do hard difficulty again. I'm going to re-roll with Blitz this time around. Hopefully, hopefully. I actually didn't see if he was a defender or an attacker. No, he, he's, he's an attacker. Because we saw somebody playing as him before. Yeah, this game kind of is like Payday 2 in a way. Because Payday 2 tactics and teamwork are extremely important. As with Rainbow Six. Yo, what is up? Welcome everybody to this massive live stream. Good to have you guys with us. I'm going to go ahead and do shoutouts for like a minute or two. Ah, crap. <laughs> so let's start the shoutouts now. Shout out to Razor Turtle, Pariah X. Shout out to John McGeary, Austin Belcher, Firefox Network, Jordan Morgan, Procky. Shout out to Ricky Deering, Jason Summers, and Wade Clausen, Gamer Albert HD. Eric D, shout out to you Eric D, and also Eric D was kind enough to uh, send me a Need for Speed closed beta code, and that is awesome you man, that's, that's really cool, I appreciate that, thank you, shout out to Eric D, and also shout out to Leighton Lad, and Antoine Jones, shout out to you Antoine, and Old Coot 73 also shout out to Hoot Owl 22 Elijah Jones, Perfect Go 001, Stephen Fox, Andrew McGowey, and Josh Markle, Ricky Deer. Well, I did it twice, damn it. Shout out to Barry Van Leeuwen, Buddy Pro Skills, Zombie Slayer 115, Andrea Zay, Brian Connor Jr., Robert Man Bob H. The Chili 1991, Michael Kuhn. We join in the middle of the match, so I'm going to return to menu and try to find another one. Shout out to Aliana Garcia. Aaron Stayward? I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. Shout out to you, Aaron. Shout out to Private Ryan and Saeed Muid. And shout out to Brandon James, Jason Summers, Nasir Parks, and who else we got? Who else we got? Shout out to Nick Blake and Stefan Roblox. Hey, Roblox! Shout out to Stefan Roblox, NLNL. And Malik Lewis. Also, shout out to Selena Ignacia. Paul Agon Biad. I'm really hoping I'm pronouncing these names right. I'm really hoping. I'm crossing my fingers. Shout out to at at TG Zebra for the win at at. Shout out to Jaden Lewis, Theo Smith, Jacob Payne, Heatstroke201, 
Sean Miller, Alex Forsyth, Andrew McGowey, and Rogue Wolf, Eric Evans. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Oh! Blitz! Yes! Also, shout out to uh, Shmi134 and Ian McLendon. There we go. I think we got everybody. Wait, Mikael. Shout out to you, Mikael Ackerstorm. All right. I'm going to confirm that load up. Wait. Ackerstorm. My mistake. Also, Josh Markle. And shout out to Shawi82, Eduardo Camano. And who else we got? Eliana Garcia, you can get LEGO Worlds from uh, Steam. It is an early access alpha. Theo, Rainbow Six Siege is working pretty smoothly. Sometimes you have some frame rate drops or a leg sticking through a wall, but this isn't. Uh, this is a beta build, you know. So, I have faith that on release that stuff will be fixed. Also, shout out to Alex Forsyth, Josh Greer, and is those everybody that's from shoutouts. Looks like it. All right, we got Sledge, we got Thermites, and... No, Sledge actually just left. And we got a recruit as well. So let's go ahead and move up. We are playing as a, a really badass, I, I believe, German character named Blitz. And he's got something unique. He's got a flashbang on the front of his riot shield, which is pretty awesome. So not only can we protect ourselves and teammates from enemy fire, but we can also stun the enemies. This is tarot hunt on hard difficulty, so we gotta be very cautious and just really just follow our teammates. Breach and charge is planted. Excellent, breach and charge is out. Wall is down. I'm gonna see if I can move in first and protect some of my teammates from fire. Oh shit! All right, so someone sent a flashbang in. I uh, uh, blitzed my shield as well. I am under heavy fire. As you can see, my riot shield is cracked. And there are a lot of uh, terrorists inside of that... Shit. There are a lot of terrorists inside of that, uh, inside of that room. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is a complete cluster cuss. Oh, and I am down. I couldn't even tell what was happening. That was a mess. All right, so we are following another one of our. Wait, no, that's just a. This is just a replay. He actually came out and meleeed me. Look at that. He was hiding behind a wall. All right, so we are following our recruit. He's the last person alive, as far as I can tell, that is not downed, and he is. He is not doing so hot. He is doing his best to take down these terrorists. Excellent. That is another terrorist down. The game is glitching a little bit. It looks like he's actually firing his pistol from. Uh, what is that? A clip? Is that a clip that he's firing his pistol with? Oh my goodness. Now, this is only what we're seeing. He's seeing the game normally. The glitch is on our side. Because this is a beta build. We have 18 terrorists left, and that is a connection failure. Connection to the server has been lost. Let's see if we can, if we can rejoin, but my god, that was crazy. That was too much. That was an insanity. Can you turn off team kill on this game? I don't believe that you can. Maybe in a custom game mode. I mean, if you play on normal, it's a big reduction of friendly, friendly fire. Hard, slight reduction. And then realistic, normal friendly fire damage. Normal as in it does the same amount of damage, roughly, that you would do to an enemy. Can you craft with the shield? Definitely. In fact, if you're not playing as a special operative that has an extendable riot shield, then you would do your best to crouch at all times with your riot shield. Otherwise, the AI will just aim down and shoot at your feet. <laughs> They'll shoot where your riot shield isn't. My god. My god. All the flashbangs. That messed me up. I, I'm pretty sure that everyone involved would have, been, would have been just like, hey, hey, stop the firefight. We're all gonna go blind, alright? So let's call out the flashbangs from now on. Hmm. I'm having a bit of uh, trouble looking for a match. So you know what? Let's go into PvP. Or maybe let's... 
I would go to realistic, but I don't know. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Do you guys want to see the realistic difficulty of Terrorist Hunt? Do you want to see realistic difficulty? Because, I don't know, that's tough. That's going to be really, like, extremely tough. In the meantime, I want to go into PvP and see if we can find a uh, player versus player match. This will be five live players versus five live players. Yeah, I play Skyrim. Of course. Luckily, we have operatives unlocked on both the defensive and offensive. So, we can really... We have really a good chance to play as an operative no matter what team we're put on. We only have one defensive operative and we have two offensive operatives though. So, <laughs> hopefully we have time to pick if we're on the defensive. Okay, round one. Defend. We gotta go for... Pulse, that's who we got. We got Pulse, and I'm gonna go ahead and go with the UMP 45 and a pistol with medium stopping power and barbed wire. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that loadout. I think that we should probably spawn in. Yeah, storage is pretty good. I'm gonna agree with that. Looks like we're rolling with a recruit, another recruit, Jaeger, Rook, and of course, Pulse. Jaeger looks like a badass. He is a German CTU operative. I believe Rook is a French CTU operative. And Pulse is American. You can tell Pulse is American because of his badass shades. <laughs> is realistic that bad? Realistic is hard. Preparation phase. Alright, we gotta fortify the bomb sites. Oh boy. Alright, here's one bomb site. Let's go ahead and fortify this, baby. Alright, that barricade is already up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna place a barricade down right here. In this room over here by B. Sweet. Crap, I don't have anybody in here with me. You serious? Nobody's gonna be here with me? Alright. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and put down some barbed wire. Enemies found bomb B. But they have not found bomb A. I'm going to look and watch the doorway because this is where the RC drone will come from. And I can take them down, like take their RC drone down before they spot bomb B. I mean bomb A. Looks like it is game time now. I'm going to place some barbed wire right here. Nice. Okay, this is not gonna be uh this is not gonna be easy. We are playing PvP. This is five players versus five players. I'm on the defensive along with four yeah, B, of my get teammates. Over get over here. Hold on. That's weird. I have my voice chat volume all the way down. There we go. Oh, there's 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 the person that's talking. I'll go ahead and mute him real quick. All right, nice, nice. We are defending bomb A. Bomb he B has been discovered, so it looks like bomb B is going to be taking all the flak. Luckily, uh, we've got tons of people over there to defend it. All of our guys are alive. We have killed two of theirs. So far, bomb A is completely safe. I believe that's because the enemy doesn't know where bomb A actually is. I'm actually going to go ahead and remove this barricade, and I'm going to put it back up on this side. Sweets! And I'm going to help him out. I'm going to help him out with Bomb B. Because Bomb B is taking all the flak. Bomb A is pretty safe where it is, just from being hidden. I have no hostile sighted. It looks like we are safe so far. They have a recruit and they have sledge left on their team. Whoa, that is a grenade. I am getting to cover. Grenade is 
out. I, whoa, 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 whoa. I could have thrown back the grenade, but I didn't trust it. I don't know how long he cooked it. All right, those are two grenades out. They have two less grenades now. I am very unsure of where the enemy is going to be coming from. Left or right, I don't know. I'm going to do my best to defend left since I've got a, I've got a guy in there already defending right. So I'm going to be watching this doorway very, very carefully. Oh, actually, no, that's Fuse. That, that's, not a, that's not a recruit. They got Fuse and Sledge on the enemy team. One out four remaining. Both Fuse and Sledge are nothing to sneeze at. It looks like Fuse is the sole remaining enemy operative. And I have no eyes on him. Look at you guys at B getting all the action. Well, we have enemy fire. We have enemy fire. I'm not exactly sure where that's coming from. But I believe that it was uh, coming from this direction, coming from down these stairs. I'm going to go ahead and sweep and clear. Stairs look clear to me for the, mom uh, for the moment, for the time being. I think that we are good. We have 33 seconds left. That means that Fuse is probably getting pretty desperate right around now. Because if, if they don't uh, detonate one of the bombs... Oh, shit. Alright, two of our guys were just taken down. 15 seconds. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Fuse took us down, but we still won the match. We had a couple guys acting as meat shields, and he couldn't take all of us down before we could reach the bomb. Sweet. So, <laughs> that is mission complete. We did our jobs well enough. Unfortunately, I did not get much of the action, as Bomb B was the bomb that was discovered, or Bomb A. Whichever bomb I was not at. I'm going to be rolling as uh, uh, Blitz with my Flash Shield, and I'm going to go with uh, Breach Charge instead of a Smoke Grenade. Awesome, we've got an all-star team, we've got Blitz, Fuse, Thermite, Sledge, and Twitch, all in one counter-terrorist unit. This is amazing, we are on the offensive, they have some time to prepare, they have some time to fortify their surroundings, set some traps up for us, to locate a bomb. and we are in the preparation phase. Now what we have to do is we have to go ahead and find the bombs. So we're going to go ahead and head inside of this building and try to find the bombs as quickly as we can. This is not such a simple matter, however. We have no idea where the bomb is, and we only have 22 seconds left to find it. Alright, bomb A has been found. If we can find... Bomb B has been found. Excellent. Both bombs have been found, and we are good to go. Let's see exactly. Looks like both of those are in the lowest story of this, uh, of this building. Alright. Two. One. Here we go. You found a bomb. Commencing a virtuous mission. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna follow up on this guy. He's got the diffuse device. It's very important that we keep an eye on that diffuse device. Either keep him alive or get the diffuse device after he dies. One of the two. Drone up. All right, cool. I am uh, on my teammates, and it looks like you want to set a charge there, man. Uh, I got a charge. If you want me to set that, now he's he's doing something else. In that case, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can back up thermite. One of our operatives has been taken down. One of our operatives have been killed. Um, he's trying to knock some holes so he can. Get a better vantage point. I'm not seeing. Whoa, 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 whoa! We do have enemies inside. I'm at 29% armor integrity. I don't think this pistol will have enough stopping power to actually like go through this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plant this breaching charge here. Hopefully, they don't open fire right now. 
All right, let's back up and let's uh, let's hit that breaching charge. Boom! That is breaching charge out. I am not seeing any hostiles inside. Still, I don't feel good about uh, heading in there alone. So I'm going to actually go back up on my teammates. I have low health. I am not in a position to go Rambo. In fact, none of us are. We only have three teammates left. This is very, very bad for us. They have a full roster. They are definitely sitting pretty. Whoa! We have no visual and hostile. One of our teammates has been taken down, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and move up a little bit and see if I can... Uh... Whoa! I, I, I don't know who killed me. Did it come up behind me? Oh, my teammate killed me. We're killed by our teammate! Well, uh, yeah. It looks like, um... That is round loss. So, first round, we won. Second round, we lost. Unfortunately, I was shot in the back by my teammate. I was gonna go ahead and move forward with my riot shield, uh, detonate my flash on my riot shield, and therefore blind the enemy, and then I was gonna take him down with a few headshots. We are back on the defensive, so I'm going to go back as Pulse. I'm going to select the UMP-45, same stuff we did before, and I'm going to get ready. Let's do this thing. I'm hoping we got some good operators. Alright, so we've got Pulse, Smoke, Jaeger, and two recruits. I got my fingers crossed that we do a good job. We'll see. <laughs> Welcome, Harry and Machado. Good to have you guys with us. Welcome to the live stream. And welcome, Kiana Hobson and Jason Rock. All right, we are in the preparation phase. That makes, uh... That makes 35 seconds, roughly, that we have until we, uh... We gotta face these guys. What the hell was that explosion? What the hell? All right, so someone was an asshole and killed both of our team members. Oh, what a dick. What a dick. Let's put up that barricade. They found bomb B. That's not where we are. We're at bomb A, so bomb A is still safe. I'm going to go ahead and put some barbed wire down and watch the door for enemy R RC cars. Down to five seconds. Five seconds left. All right, we took down one of the uh, enemy drones, so they were not able to... They would have spotted... Bomb A in the last, like, two seconds that they had, but we were able to take that RC car down, and we're good to go. We're good. Oh, nice. So, the guy that killed me last round has some reinforced barriers that he just put down. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put down another barbed wire. It's so, so beautiful and satisfying how that goes down. Enemies are spotted. One enemy is down. One enemy is down. I repeat, we have one enemy down. I am taking heavy enemy fire. I am not feeling good about this. I am ready to provide covering fire. Excellent. Another enemy is down. It is now three versus three. Come on, come on. Show your face. Show your face. I think he's going to come around this way, isn't he? Swapping mag. I'm not seeing where the hostile is. Wait, there he is, there he is. Deploying sensor. <laughs> We're playing a serious game of cat and mouse right now. He's one of the last surviving members on his team. And we took him down. He is dead. We just took down Sledge. It is now three versus one two. And it is now three versus one. The only remaining survivor is Fuse, who is pretty damn good. I mean, he was the last, uh, like, survivor in round one. So. I have no idea where Fuse is. Let's just sit tight. Let's sit tight.
<laughs> oh, good idea, good idea. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the barricade and put a new one up. All right, new barricade is up. Boarding Sweet. Up window. Windows aborted. Not exactly sure where Fuse is. He's taking his sweet time. He's being very, very cautious about this whole thing. This is the UMP-45. So far, so good. We have one minute and 15 seconds left. Oh, and that is round three, one. Nice. Fuse has been eliminated. Early win for us. <laughs> Looks like he was just about to put a, a diffuser on a bomb B. That was a nice save. Three kills, not too bad, not too bad. So we're on the attack once again. This is round four. We won uh, two rounds. The enemy has won one round, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and roll as Blitz, and I'm going to confirm that loadout. I agree that we should spawn at the shooting range. So, we've got an all-star team of Blitz, Fuse, Thermite, Sledge, and... Who you got, Gun? Come on, don't pick Recruit. Don't pick Recruit. Come on. Make us the Avengers. I don't know who Gun861 is going to pick. They are still selecting their operator. They have 10 seconds left, roughly, so they better hurry. They better hurry. John McGarry suggests that I spray and pray. You are right, John. I mean, you don't always have time for accuracy. Spray and pray is really a, a viable option. All right, looks like the last one is going to be a recruit, unfortunately. Still, recruits are good. Recruits are good. They just don't have the special stuff that specialists have got, but they're not bad. We need to locate a bomb. Okay, so we got to locate the bomb. This is the preparation phase. We have 40 seconds to find both of the bombs. This is the player versus player mode in Rainbow Six Siege. We have five versus five, and oh god, oh god, he sees me. <laughs> but I was able to evade him. We're just running around like chickens with our heads cut off. And I think the bombs are upstairs, because I saw somebody upstairs, and I think that's where they all spawn. So I'm going to head upstairs behind this guy. He doesn't see me yet. Excellent. I found bomb A. Bomb A has been located. The diffuser has been recovered. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location. Both bombs have been located. So I'm rolling as Blitz, who's got a riot shield with a flash on the front. It works just like a flashbang. So not only can we protect ourselves from being shot at, but we can also like blind the enemy. Okay, we're moving in nice and fast. Getting kind of nervous, to be honest. We got Flash with us, so that's nice. I'm not sure what he's shooting at. He's kind of giving away our position. I don't like that. So I'm going to be following up on uh, Fuse and Radiant mods. Although, Gun861 looks like... He's making some noise. Make some noise! You know what? I kind of want to follow Gun861. But I I will not. I will not follow Gun A61. Instead, I'm gonna follow the rest of my teammates and I'm gonna wrap up to their position. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice, we are upstairs. I am providing uh cover and shielding for my teammates as as, as much as I can. We have been spotted, I'm not sure where that grenade is. Thank goodness it missed us. Enemy has been detected outside. Oh god. Oh no. I have no visual sign of the enemy outside. So you know what? Let's just let's just get moving. I think they're gonna try to ambush us. Mm mm mm. Do not like the sound of that explosion. I'm not exactly sure what Thermite's doing up here. I'm guessing he's just like watching for hostiles. But we're trying to make our way downstairs. Unfortunately, one of our teammates has been eliminated. We're trying to make our way to bomb A at the moment. Time to ring them ears. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just got hit. I just got hit. I'm at 28% armor. 
Ah, oh, I just got hit again. Grenade is out. <laughs> Shit. I thought I was out of the range of the grenade. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I think a teammate just killed me. Yeah, a teammate just killed me. Another teammate killed me. Son of a bitch. It is now three versus two. Two versus two. We have Sledge and Thermite left, and Pulse is left. It is now two versus one. Pulse has been eliminated. That is a round four win. Unfortunately, Sledge team killed me, but still, that is a win for us, so that is good. It looks like we have actually won this multiplayer match, because we won the majority of the rounds. We won, I think, three out of four. Yeah, that is a win for Team Orange. We won three out of four rounds. Team Blue only lost... Oh, they only won one round. So, <laughs> three points to Team Orange! Nice. We got three kills, zero assists, and three deaths. So we didn't do too bad. Two of my deaths were at the hands of my teammates. We got 261 renown. That was awesome. Alright, so we voted twi three times to play against the enemy team again, so that is a loss uh, in terms of those votes. But still, that was pretty badass. I don't know if I want to play with these guys, honestly. I mean, I've been team killed twice by them, but whatever, we're in another match. Oh shit, blue team has a lot of mics. They got a lot of mics. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what is up everybody that's joining up with us? It's good to have you with us on this live stream. We're playing Rainbow Six Siege PvP. This is round one and we are defending. We are on the defensive. I'm going to go ahead and run his pulse. And I'm going to be using the UMP45. In fact, I'm going to stick with everything that, I, that is in our loadout right now. And it looks like we got two recruits. We got Jaeger, we got Rook, and we got Pulse. Our usual... Defense team. Don't use the shield. Uh, the shield is really difficult to use, Sean. So, I don't know if the shield is for me. I gotta get some more practice with it. I usually don't use riot shields in games. You'd think it would be OP in Rainbow Six Shield, but it's not uh, OP in Rainbow Six Siege at all. I mean, it takes a lot of skill. It's not an easy class, but it is an essential class. It really does help out if someone on your team is taking point, and they've uh, they've got a riot shield. Secure the room. We need to protect the biohazard container. All right, cool. Let's start securing this room. Let's see where the objectives are. Uh, <laughs> yo, where the objective at? Oh, there's there's the objective. Oh, this this is the objective, I guess, right here. So we got to start securing this. It looks like we're not playing Search and Destroy. Oh, great. I'm locked in here with him. There's a little bit of lag going on right now. Okay, I think the lag has now ended. I'm actually going to remove this barricade. And I'm going to put it back up. We have five seconds until hostiles are out. I got the door! Op 4 hasn't found the biohazard container. They will attempt to locate it during the assault. Like he said, they haven't found the biohazard container. They're kind of they're going to have to locate it during the assault, but we're going to uh, we're need to defend this thing with our lives, and that's a scary thought. All right, another barricade down. I got some barbed wire that I can put around here, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, put it right here. Should be a fairly good place. We need enough room, though. There we go. Nice. Barbed wire does take up quite a bit of space. So far, we have no sign of enemy activity. Oh, thank you very much. One of our teammates is a special operative, and his speciality is actually, like, laying down armor that's other people can pick up and use on his team. 
So I now have upgraded armor, as you can see, in my green armor icon. And we're gonna need that. We're really gonna need that. This is gonna become a hell... A hellish, like, fire zone. A hellish hot zone. It's gonna be awful. We've gotta hold this position and defend it for 2 minutes 30 seconds, or until the enemy teammates die. So far, I have no sign of the hostile targets. Whoa. Did you feel that? Whole building started shaking. I'm hearing some voices. But I still have no sign of the targets. Keeping my eyes open. Staying frosty. Holy crap! It looks like they're trying to breach their way into our room, but I am not... I'm not seeing where they're coming from. I do not know where that explosion was. We are under heavy attack. It's not going to be long now. Whoa. That doesn't sound good. They're, they breached the ceiling. The ceiling has been breached. Holy crap! Oh my god! The enemies have found the objective. Enemy is sighted. I see them upstairs. Oh, and I am down! Oh, I've been killed! I've been killed by Fuse, otherwise known as Mr. Doodle Goose. I was looking upstairs, and I was trying to see if I could take anybody down, but they were already dropping through the ceiling, and I was killed very quickly. We now have... Both teams have four enemies remaining. Let me get a, let me try to get a better angle on. Okay, so I've got a better angle on what's going on. I see an enemy outside. Sledge. Oh, Sledge was just killed. HD Potato got an awesome kill. We it is now four versus two. It looks like this is starting to uh, work out in our favor. It is confirmed the enemy team does have Blitz, who has a riot shield. Oh shoot! Blitz is taking that fire like a champ. His riot shield is holding up. He just took down one of our recruits. Our recruit is dead. In fact, HD Potato is the only one left. Jaeger is the only one. It is two versus two. Radiant Mods is dying. Rook is down! Oh, Rook is dead! We have two enemies left and one friendly remaining. It looks like Jaeger is doing his best to stay alive. As you can see, he is darting in and out of cover, and that is round one lost. Unfortunately, the enemy just held our location for too long. Look at Blitz being a badass with a shield. <laughs> Mmm, that was tight. That was tight. That was tight. I wish I could have been in it longer, but hey. <laughs> Them's the stakes. Round two, attack. Yo, Massive, how's the game? It is amazing, man. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm going to be going with ugh, Blitz, I guess, because someone already picked Fuse. I was going to roll with Fuse, but it's too late now. We are the attacker now. I suggest we go with uh, go with the gas station. Wow, we've got an all-star team. We've got Blitz, Thermite, Fuse, and Sledge, and a Recruit. This is an amazing Rainbow Six lineup, and this should turn out to be a very exciting game. There are 15 seconds left until we go into the preparation stage, at which time we will each, all six of us, I mean, five of us, <laughs> shit, all five of us will have um, RC drones, and we'll need to take those drones and find the objective location. Massive press triangle to spot them. Really? All right, here we go. <laughs> I, uh, I don't remember triangle being the spot controls, but I, you know, it's been a while since I've actually looked at the controls physically. We now have less than 35 seconds to find the objective location. I'm gonna go ahead and check upstairs. I see an enemy. I don't know if he sees me. I'm gonna stop moving. Oh shit! I think they took me down. Ten seconds to I think they have uh, a, a jammer. 
insertion in five seconds. Yeah, looks like they got a jammer. <laughs> Too late. We don't know what the objective is. Container unknown. Clear to engage. We are clear to engage. I'm rolling as Blitz, who is a German CTU operative, and he's got an awesome flash shield. It's basically a, 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 a flashbang on his riot shield, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, like meet up on Fuse and Sledge. I think they're taking the stairwell. Nice, they are taking the stairwell. I like that route. Stairwell is always a good option. Okay, so he just tossed a he just tossed a drone down and he's taking a look around. I don't believe he's actually spotted anything yet. Where's Sledge? I do not have eyes on there's Sledge. Looks like he's taking a different way down. I don't know about splitting up, honestly. I think we should all work as a team. It is now five versus four. We have taken down Pulse and a recruit. It is now five versus three. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go on one of my teammates and I'm gonna back him up. I'm gonna give him back up. And I'm gonna be backing up Sledge, actually. So let's go rapple down with him and see what we can see. Unfortunately, there's a reinforced barred windows. I could put a breach in charge, which is actually what I'm gonna do. Objective has been found. Unbreakable service. Okay, so not even our breach in charge can actually breach that surface. We're gonna have to go in another way. And we're gonna be very ballsy here, and we're gonna actually rapple down to the middle. We have been spotted. I don't know from where, but I'm not gonna go down there. It's too it's too risky. Alright, rappling down. Let's change stances and let's uh break some of that cover. I'm not seeing any hostiles inside of there, but I, I know they, they definitely are, uh, they do have a presence. Hostile is spotted. I'm going to go back up. That's too dangerous over there. I'm going to get a different angle. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Let's go ahead and rapple down and meet up on our teammates. See if I can revive my my uh, my friend over here. It's it's actually not letting me revive him. There we are. You have to be in a crouch position. You can't go prone. All right, boom. We have one of our teammates back up and running. I'm gonna try and head to the objective location. However, we do have two hostiles remaining, and I'm not exactly sure where they are. I have spotted one hostile. Oh, and I'm down. However, I was able to release a flash, and I think that, yes. Yes, the flash was effective. As you can see, he is shielding his eyes. Hopefully that'll help my teammates. Okay, I just spotted the one of the two remaining uh, uh, hostiles. We have one remaining friendly, and that is Don. Unfortunately... Don has a lot of work cut out for him. <laughs> 15 seconds remaining. He's actually you. Oh wait. 10 seconds left. Nice. Next. 5 seconds remaining. Come on Don, you can do this. You can do this. 2 seconds, 1 second. Oh, and that is round 2 loss. Welcome, Joseph. You need to go Rambo. Maybe, maybe. Although, if I would have went in Rambo with that shield, I would have died just the same because I, I didn't look to my right. I didn't look to my right like I should have, and I just, I missed the guy with the shotgun, and because of that, I died, and we lost the game. If I would have stayed alive, we would have had a chance.
secure Welcome, the Gustavo. We need to protect the biohazard. Okay, we are in the preparation phase and we're protecting our biohazard once again. I'm seeing what I can reinforce right here. I'm not seeing a whole lot. I am going to be putting some barbed wire down right here. I'm not going to put it too close to the uh, the hatch. But once they try to walk out of the hatch, they'll have some issues. As you can see, they can actually uh, they can blow that and drop down below here. And that is a very smart way that they'll be able to breach our position. Whoa! We have been spotted. I'm trying to take down this, this RC car. <laughs> we're, just, we're, just, we're getting swarmed. We're getting swarmed with RC cars. This is going to be an all-out firefight. It's go time. It's go time. We gotta barricade everything we possibly can. I'm gonna go ahead and barricade uh, barricade this. Oh, takes time to do it. Nice. All right, that is barricaded. I'm gonna barricade this as well. Hopefully, my teammates don't barricade me out. And they have. They have barricaded me out. Can't barricade that, but we can barricade this. All right, nice. Unfortunately, I have been spotted. They do have a little drone that's uh, uh, making its rounds, but we do have eyes on the enemy as well. Okay, we've got plenty of defenses in place, plenty of barricades. I'm going to put some more barbed wire down right here to slow them. Nice! And I'm going to take down their little, uh, little drone. Drone has been destroyed. Is that a friendly drone right there? I can't tell if that's a friendly drone or not. Whoa! They are, uh, they are breaching the ceiling. We have a lot of explosives going off. I have no eyes on the enemy, no eyes on the hostile targets. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, pick up some of this heavy armor that one of our teammates left. Excellent. As you can see, I now have a boost in my armor. I will last a little longer when being shot at. They're sending more grenades through the ceiling. But so far, we are not being hit. I'm tempted to just open fire on them. Okay. I am not hitting the enemy. I'm not exactly sure where they are, but they may not... Oh, there they are. They have breached the ceiling. I have got my gun ready. And no bullets made contact, so they must not be too close to the hole. Whoa, we have the enemies entering the breach. Oh, I'm trying to take the enemy down. I'm providing cover fire, but it is it is to no avail. It's, it's not doing us any good. Let me try to use the heartbeat sensor. Protect the biohazard container. Whoa! Oh man, I have 5% armor integrity. This is this is very bad for us. This is very bad. We have two teammates remaining. Oh, and I am down. Round three has been lost. They swarmed us, and they were smart. They used the roof as a, or the ceiling as a distraction. They came in from multiple sides at once, and they took us down just systematically. Total defeat. Holy crap. Three losses in a row. Oh my god. Wow. I was not able to get kills on those guys. I was shooting through the wall, but for some reason, he was just... I got 100 renown. That's not bad. For some reason, he was just... I guess behind the concrete a little too much. Still, we had some good matches. We had some damn good matches this live stream. That's, that, was, that was awesome. This beta is awesome, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this live stream. We have a, another live stream uh, just after this, which is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. And even if you normally don't play games like that or watch games like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5, trust me. All right, this game, this game is something else. This game is hilarious. It is unintentionally priceless, and I hope you guys are there to join it with me. So, once again, thank you guys for checking out Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, it's been amazing, and yeah, <laughs> we'll be playing more Rainbow Six before the 4th, hopefully, 
and until next time, game massively. Take care. Live on YouTube around 4 p.m. EST, Monday, Thursday, Friday. Follow for notifications.